but I want to talk about actually the businesses a little bit more too. Of course. Okay. So how does one get involved in those type of businesses that you have? You know, and I want to list them all too. So which one do you feel? Digital you cartel. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's, there's really the two main ones are digital cartel or three main ones. Um, Cuso cuts and then Helios. Those are like the three main ones. Mm -hmm. So digital cartel actually, I got fired from my job and I was mm -hmm. kind of like at this point where I was like, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. Like, am I going to go back and work? I even applied it like, um, where did I apply? Merrill Lynch. I don't remember. I applied somewhere where I was like, maybe I'm just going to do this for forever. Yeah. But I was like, I oh, don't know, man. Like, I, it's funny. I got fired from my job. I texted like one of my best friends, um, Corey, he, he owns his, him and his family own a car dealership. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Hey man, uh, just got fired from my job. Like I might need a job. Mm -hmm. And he's like, got you no matter what. If I called him today, he'd, probably, he'd give me a job. Yeah. It's good, Solid. really good man. Solid. Um, and so I knew I had that going for me. And then I was like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to go back and just start working a mundane job again. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't tell my mom that I got fired yet. Yeah. Well, I explained that. <laughs> You're avoiding that one. Um, and I have like a former friend of mine that I didn't know what he did for work, mm -hmm. but I knew he seemed well off. Yeah. And, uh, he hits me up and he's like, Hey, I want to teach you how I make money. And I was like, am I about to start selling drugs? <laughs> and I'm like, shit. I don't, at that point I was like, yeah. I got no options. Let's yeah, go do yeah. it. Let's go figure yeah. it out. Long story short, he was in like internet marketing, online marketing. And so that's what got me into it was mm -hmm. somebody reached out to me mm -hmm. because they thought that they saw promise in me or whatever it is, uh, because I held myself in a certain capacity. Um, and they're like, Hey, this guy's probably got something to him, mm -hmm. you know? And then after that, I was on that, what, like unemployment train, like everybody gets after they get fired from a job yeah, yeah, yeah. that rides for a few months. Yeah. And I just lived off that, which was like 400 bucks a week or every two weeks. I don't yeah. remember what it is. Um, and I just buried myself in learning about the space. That's dope. A lot of times people think that they can just see somebody on Instagram, like, oh, that's how you make a million dollars on fucking Amazon or mm -hmm. whatever. And like, oh, you can do it too. Just take my course. And it's like, dude, you have to bury yourself. There's no, nobody's got a course, myself included, mm -hmm. that's going to teach you how to, that that alone will teach you how to become rich or be successful in any way. Well, it's like nobody's you said, there's got no one. magic pill too. There's no magic, magic pill, pill for it, man. It, mm -hmm. So it's like, nobody's got the one answer. Mm -hmm. So I buried myself in it and I had success early. I had fails early, failures early rather. Um, and there's a lot of ups and downs, but every single time I just come back to the table and it's like, I mean, it's, if you want to think about it, like baseball, like eventually, like the first time you ever step into a batter's box, like, and somebody hums a, a fastball by you, like it is new. You are not used to it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, maybe if you're lucky, you just stick your bat out there and eventually you're going to foul something off. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get a hit but every single time you got to show back up to bat mm -hmm. and eventually the game slows down. Eventually you start seeing some tendencies. Eventually you start to be able to hit the ball, home runs, whatever you want to call it. Right. Mm -hmm. In this analogy. Um, but still even the most veteran batter strikes out sometimes. Right. Yeah. So it is very much the equivalent of that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. But you got to study it. You got to get in your playbook. You have to just make sure that whatever you want to get into, you know, all of the things associated with the risks, the pros, the cons, the, the partnerships. Like I started going to conventions, like I'm going to one of them next month. And I just was like deep in it. Mm. I was trying to make all the partnerships that I can. That's one of the things like hold yourself in a professional manner at all times. Whenever you're like around your peers, yeah. because like, you never know who's going to look at you and be like, Hey, this kid's got something or Promise. this older man has something or older woman has something. It doesn't really matter what, what age you are, but it's like, you got to make sure that like people are looking at you in a way that they're like, all right, this is somebody that I would do business with. Mm. Um, and that's kind of how we started. And I mean, we've reinvented ourselves a few different times, that mm -hmm. company. Um, we've gone different directions. We've tried things that didn't work. We've tried things that do work. Um, yeah. that's just business. That is business, that's man. Business, like, yeah. and that's the thing right there. That's gotta be the attitude. 
You're like, you can't take it too personally and you can't be too emotionally attached to yeah. any one thing, right? Exactly. If you're like, I only do marketing for gyms mm -hmm. and then like, that's all you do and that's your bread and butter and then like COVID happens and mm -hmm. gyms aren't open so they're like, I don't wanna do your business with you right now. And it's like, well, this is what I do, this is what I do and you keep trying to pound your head up against a wall, eventually yeah. you're gonna fail. You have to be very, um, malleable. You have to yeah. be able to change shape and change form. You gotta, be, you gotta able to be able to pivot, man. Exactly. Yeah. And so that business, um, I learned a lot of things, did everything, learned how to do everything myself, whether mm -hmm. it be paid advertising, build a website, email market, like I do it all mm -hmm. right. I don't do any of it the best. Yeah. So I got hire people that are better than me now. Yeah. Um, but I can do it all. Yeah. Outsource. Right. Yeah. Outsource. You build a team. Um, only work with people that you trust mm -hmm. only work with people that you would be a f not necessarily a friend with, but they're like outside of the workplace you would trust. Yeah. Right. Um, and the other business Kuso cuts, uh, so my buddy I met in like 2020, um, it's funny. Like I like to grill. Yeah. I, I love to grill. I love to cook. I think mm -hmm. that cooking is very like emotional for me. Like I like to provide a meal for someone. I think that's mm -hmm. like a, maybe it's the Italian side of me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but like I, t I like to provide a meal. I like to like, do that Form on a regular basis. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And so I met my buddy, I was, I was following him on Instagram, mm -hmm. like a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. And, uh, he makes barbecue videos mm -hmm. and I saw him check in in like Rockland, California. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I live in Rockland. So like yeah. I commented on the video and I was like, I don't remember what I said. And I was like, Hey, I'm in Rockland. If you ever want to fucking grill or something, let me know. Yeah. Yeah. And then he commented back and he was like, do you know of any gyms around here? This is like, <laughs> this is like COVID time, right? Yeah. I was like, yeah. Or he like DM me or something. I DM'd him and I was like, yeah, I was like, I got one in my house. If you like want to slide through. Yeah. So we just became friends and I saw like his rise to who he is. Like, um, his Instagram handle and all of his handles are chef Cuso. Mm -hmm. He's massive now. He's got like six, he just hit a million followers on YouTube today. I saw the tequila rub one. That, yeah. The one that I, yeah. Yeah. So he just and hit a million followers on YouTube today. He's got like a few mil on TikTok. He's got like 6 million across all platforms. Mm -hmm. But when we met, he had like a hundred thousand, yeah. maybe I think he had less than a million followers on TikTok. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But, um, anyway, I saw him start to grow and he was doing brand deals and I was like, Hey Jack, like in the event that you want to start like your own thing, mm -hmm. I was like, let me know. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. because I know how to do everything digital wise. Yeah. I think we can grow something. And so anyway, uh, I never liked to, like, they always say like you either have business partners or friends and like, I value mine and Jack's relationship so much. Um, he's my boy. And yeah. so like we did this song and dance for like eight months and then finally he's like, all right, man, like we got to do this. Yeah. And we got to do it. So like, let's start yeah. this company. Um, and so we started the company up and like, we've just been on this like steady rise using my skill set from digital cartel basically mm -hmm. um and his notoriety and fame mm -hmm. and we've created what is now um a cool little brand man we yep. sell kitchen knives yep. um we sell now 10 different seasonings um we're coming out later this year with more mm -hmm. and some other products and we have like all the product drops and everything done and we're learning on a daily basis man yeah. like i'm on I was on a call before I got a call right after this mm -hmm. for, for, for Cuso cuts too. And that one's cool, man. Um, and I, I love that. I love that company. Cause like I do a lot of client work at digital cartel. Yeah. Cuso cuts is like something like where I, I can hold my product in my hand, mm -hmm. my knife. I use it every single day. My rubs mm -hmm. use them every single day. Like that's yeah. a cool fucking thing. You know, mm -hmm. eventually you'll see us in like whole foods yeah. Safeway, and you'll be able to walk down the aisle and you'll be like, dude, that's mine. Like that's wild. Wow. Like you think about yeah. that, right? Wild. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the last company is a cannabis distribution company. Mm -hmm. And I came on, I didn't start this company. Mm -hmm. Um, three of my buddies from college started the company um, that yeah, I played yeah. football with. Yeah. And, uh, I remember in 2017, my buddy Brian calls me and he's like, Hey Cody, it's like, listen, this is like right when we do coming legal. Mm -hmm. He's like, so me, Jimmy and Zach are going to buy an armored car and get like our CCW and we're going to like drive weed up and down California. Damn. And I was like, Brian, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how it goes. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Like he was always like a little out there a little mm -hmm. pothead. Yeah, I was yeah. like, do your thing, man. <laughs> um, six months later, he comes back to me. He's like, Hey, so like we're, we made money. Yeah. Like we're, we're doing it. We got licensed. We're an actual distribution company. Um, here we are. What 
five, six years later, yeah, damn near, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. And, uh, we distribute, he's like, at that time, he's like, all right, we need somebody to do marketing. So I put in sweat equity or whatever in mm-hmm. the beginning of the business for the first few years. Mm-hmm. Um, so I came on as a CMO. I mean, we don't have like real titles, but like mm-hmm. I do the marketing. Mm-hmm. Um, here we are five years later, we distribute in like 650 dispensaries. Shit. Um, we distribute some like Sacramento brands, yeah. like seven leaves. We just started being the sole distributor of all their oh, products. Shit. Yeah, I know some um, of these, yeah. Delighted, Preferred Gardens, um, Turn, Ember Valley. We do labeling, logistics, all that kind of stuff. So we have a warehouse, probably not too far from here, actually. Yeah. Um, and so that's cool, man. It, it's they're all different things, but at the end of the day, my what I bring to the table mm-hmm. is the same. I bring a marketing mindset. Yeah. You know. That's super and so cool. That's that's kind of how I got here. That's amazing, man. Yeah, it, it's it's a trait that I think um, you know gets. It's, I was going to say underappreciated because I think it, it definitely is appreciated, but it's a trait that I don't think a lot of people want to tackle on and have that, you know, that stress to, to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, I man. I think it's a lot more than people think is, is actually what 